Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday, May 27th. Happy belated Memorial Day. Just thought I would give you guys a quick tour on everything that's going on around here. It's been absolutely beautiful the last few days. My lilac tree is in full bloom. Didn't know this was a lilac tree, so that was really exciting. It smells amazing. If you've never smelled a lilac tree, you gotta come to Lilac Fest next year in Rochester, New York. It's amazing. Let's head over to the garden. All right, here we are in the garden, and as you can see, a lot of new things going on in here. It's pretty exciting. Put in uh, 14 tomatoes already, different varieties. I have uh, Prudence Purple, Pink Tie-Dye, Black Cherry, and Asternia Cherry Tomatoes. Those are, the, those are the four varieties that I have. I also have planted uh, some squash and zucchini throughout. So I've got my apple trees. If you're not familiar, the apple trees are in the blue tubes protected from the wildlife. We have the tomatoes all along the ground here. Some of them have cages. Most of them are posted up. These posts are actually pretty short. So uh, as the season goes on, I'll probably have to replace them with something bigger. It's not ideal, but it is what it is. Over here, there's my hose from watering this morning. Over here, I have some uh, mulch pulled back because I'm trying to encourage some asparagus to pop up. So you see right here, got a nice little asparagus growing. And some more asparagus growing right here. And here's the real exciting find. I'm walking by the raised garden bed that was already here. It was the only thing that was already here originally. And I'm walking by and oh my goodness, there's huge asparagus right here. Must have been planted by the previous owner. You know, it's a perennial, so it's going to come back every year. So this was an awesome resource for us, free asparagus. So you see it's popping up all over in this bed. Kind of a mess because I need to weed it. I had started on the other side planting uh, some flowers for the pollinators. We'll head over there and look at that real quick. These are some flowers that I had planted. Originally, this whole bed was going to be herbs and flowers. Now that I've discovered the asparagus at the end there, we're going to have to change some plans, but I couldn't be more thrilled. Uh, so I have bachelor's button and zinnia growing over here. Those are the two varieties of flowers. And these are all doing super well, um, but make sure that they have two to three sets of true leaves before you move them in here because originally I had moved some smaller plants in and they did not do well. So make sure they're really well established before you put them in if you're using those two varieties. It's been very warm here the last few days in the 80s and 90s, lots of sun. Here's another little tiny asparagus right here. I'm not sure if the strawberries are ever going to recover. We had a really late frost and some of them had already started to sprout leaves and things and now they have kind of screeched to a halt. So still taking care of them, but not really sure if that's something I'm going to have to replant next year. And hey, that's just the way it goes. Don't let it get you down. That's gardening. For everything that you fail on, there's going to be something that you're successful in. Uh, more asparagus right here. More squash and zucchini on this side of the garden. It's very weeded. I need to work on weeding it today. A lot of uh, onions over here that are doing well. And I was excited to peel back my early potato variety and see that they are thriving, doing really well. So excited about that. So I'm gonna be working on weeding today, but I haven't given you guys an update in a while because I've been so gosh darn busy putting in these tomatoes. This particular tomato right here, I was watering the tomatoes to the left and the hose came across and it chopped the tomato that was here right in half. And I gotta tell you guys, I was so mad. I was steaming, but I always have a backup plan. I have so many extra tomatoes in the basement. Tom said to me, he said, I don't understand why you're so upset. You have so many tomatoes, you don't even know what to do with them. You can go and you can replace it right away. So it really wasn't an issue. Kind of a bummer because I only got 10 seeds of that particular variety, the Asternia cherry. Um, and nine of them sprouted and then I destroyed one of them. So I have eight of them left, which is obviously way more than we're going to need. But I was a little upset, but that's why I always have extras in the basement um, so that if something like that happens or it gets destroyed for some other reason, you can always have backups. Don't ever let yourself, um, you know, be shorthanded if you can. If you have the extra space in your basement, start extras just in case. So we're doing well. We have the chickens free ranging in the backyard outside of their coop and they're just absolutely loving it. 
Uh, Minnie and Cooper, our dogs, help us herd them back in at the end of the day. So I'll try and get a video of that for you guys. Uh, but just really thrilled with how things are going in the garden. Tell you nothing is nothing is more exciting than uh, peeling back some mulch and seeing a little baby asparagus growing or anything of that nature. And I come out every day and I see my tomatoes are doing well. And it's just a real boost of confidence. If you're somebody who needs uh, a new hobby and is looking for something that really makes them feel good, connected, you know, proud of themselves, it's something that you have to put a lot of hard work into, but it's really gonna, it's gonna pay you back with all that fresh, delicious food. You can't buy it as good as, as it is from your own garden, I guarantee it. Calling it Zero Mile Food, because it takes zero miles to get to my house from the garden. And I think we should all strive for that. It's a much more eco-friendly, sustainable way to live. But as always, I hope everybody is doing well. Remembering those who have fallen for us on Memorial Day, thanking a veteran, thanking those in the service, very important. I'm allowed to do this today because of people who went out there and sacrificed their lives for us. So if you are a veteran and you know a veteran, thank you very much. Say thank you and uh, take care you guys. Talk to you later.